Dealing with anxiety and depression. The dictionary defines anxiety using words such as distress, uneasiness, fear and danger, the last thing you want to bother you while studying for a degree. With 1 in 16 suffering from a form of anxiety or depression and 36% of young people at university, institutions have to be prepared to deal with the problems that come with these disorders. Just a huge sense of sadness that sometimes you can't, you don't feel as if you can escape it almost. Your lowest point, like when you're feeling really down, everything feels so much worse. Anxiety is a gut feeling of panic and fear inevitably that it gets you down because most of the time you don't know why it's there. Um, those sort of feelings for me it's just it's just if it's too much stress really. Um, any sense of stress will inevitably cause some sense of um, anxiety. Different things trigger it for different people. It can be social situations, little things that are for me it's loss of control. And I started getting really nervous. And I start, I stopped coming to lectures and things like that. And I think that's when like my lecturers started realising and I started getting emails. And there's only so many excuses you can really make. When coping with these issues, use of uplifting techniques can be very useful. Breathing techniques and closing your eyes and just closing out everything else. Exercise, and that's something that I've been taught actually. I'm feeling really low. There's one thing that I have to try to find motivation for and that's to actually get out and do something. Distraction techniques and reassurance have uh, been a big part of coping for me. Nobody wants to have anxiety or depression but I think at some point in everyone's lives they're going to experience it whether it's a one-off or whether it's you know you're going to have it on and off for the rest of your life. I found it really easy to accept that because I knew I was going to be able to teach myself to handle it. And I have learned a lot about myself. You really have to go into yourself, especially when you're using counselling and therapy. You have to find out where it's come from and that's a really important part of it.